What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about obviously what everyone's talking about tonight, and that is Jay Uso defeating Braun Breaker to become your new Intercontinental Champion. When I say I was thoroughly shocked and surprised at this outcome, doesn't do it justice. I did not think jay uso was going to win tonight and maybe i should have paid attention to the things that were said the the video package they gave jay uso basically talking about he's never won a solos title in his career after being in wwe for so long and braun breaker giving an interview we're getting interviewed backstage uh talking about how you know he's gonna beat jay and you know later on down the line you know, he'll give Jay another opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship because he plans on holding the Intercontinental Championship for a very long time. Like some of those clues should have been a dead giveaway. But I just didn't think it was going to happen, mainly because we are in this era, the Triple H era, where for the most part, title reigns are actual reigns. They, you, it's rare that you see someone lose a title relatively quickly. It is. You know, so we don't really get that, you know, that type of booking from Triple H. Usually people are holding titles for a while. So the fact that, you know, Braun Breaker, the person they've been pushing to the moon, understandably so, next future world champion of the company without a shadow of doubt, um, you know, you would think he's probably going to hold it for a while. And we all know Jay is going to get involved in the bloodline stuff. So I think that on top of, you know, knowing Jay's going to get involved, knowing that Triple H usually books champions to hold the titles for a while, like, you kind of had this idea, like, most likely, Jay is not going to win here, but boy, were we wrong, and this is one of those few times where I'm okay with a swerve, because one, they planted the seeds, it's just people didn't really pay attention to him. Some people didn't, including myself, didn't pay attention to him, didn't really think they were going to actually go through it. So one, they planted the seeds there. And two, you can still expound upon it. I, you know, you can still get, fans can get to see Jay be the Intercontinental Champion. And I do feel like it's going to lead into some bloodline stuff when it's all said and done. And I'll talk about that towards the end. But first and foremost, this match was really good. I expected this match to be good. It was the main event of the show as it should have been. It could have been on the Bad, Bl uh, Bad Blood PLE, but no. This, you know, they decided to put it here, and it was it was a great match. Great main event. Uh, they, they worked well in the ring. The crowd was amped up for both of these guys. Both of them were over. Um, and I like the fact that, once again, Braun Breaker showing his dominance early in the match. It, it Jay was getting packed up. Any little offense he was getting... Braun Breaker was countering. He was, you know, methodically taking him down. I loved it. And the crowd was loving it too. And once again, Braun Breaker is such an athletic freak. I love the spot where he has the opponent laying on the announce table. And he just jumps from the ring apron all the way to the announce table and essentially clotheslines them over the announce table. Such a beautiful spot. Got to be very athletic. Obviously, when he hits the Frankensteiner, so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. You know, and even at one point in the match, Braun Breaker runs around the ring and spears Jay out of his air forces once again. And he was really, really dominant. But Jay was the... the 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 baby face and I was trying to fight from underneath and stay within the match and what like I said I gotta mention this again Braun Breaker's Frankensteiner is just beautiful someone that size doing that perfectly fantastic so we gotta talk about obviously there was a near fall a very close near fall I'm talking about the closest you could possibly get to the point where fans in the arena thought the ref messed up. No. You look at the camera. Jay ends up getting the pin on Braun, Braun Breaker. And it was a close near fall. Like 2.9 seconds. Like the last possible second he could kick out. And he kicked out. That was very good. Love how they did that. 
had the crowd ooh and ah. Now the crowd's amp. They they really built. They started off slow and they crescendoed throughout this match. So we get a situation where Braun Breaker, he's frustrated. He's he's done with this Jey Uso situation. He's about to pretty much put him out of his misery. So Jay is essentially by the barricade. And you know, the, the, the obligatory barricade spot. You knew it was coming, but Braun Breaker adds that much impact to it. So you knew it was going to be a good one. He runs around the ring, builds up speed, but he runs right into a super kick. So Jay ends up walking back, gaining speed himself, and ends up spearing Braun Breaker through the barricade. Um, bar I said barricade, the barricade. And it's rare to see Braun Breaker in that position. So after that, he picks up Mon Breaker, crowds amped, gets him in the ring, runs off the ropes, hits a spear on him again. And then after that, he goes to the top rope, crowds losing their shit. I'm starting to be like, wait, wait, what's happening? Because this is right after the close near fall, like the close count. And normally, if you've watched wrestling as much as I have, when you see the baby face have that close count that 2.9 and they still don't get it as an indication the match is about to end and most likely he's probably going to lose but in this situation he started getting more momentum so he's at the top rope he goes for the uso splash and i'm in my head i'm thinking that there's no way he's gonna win here right ref counts one ref counts two ref counts three and i lost my shit the chat lost their shit the crowd lost their shit because there's no i couldn't fucking believe it he actually won he won the match y'all he won and a lot of us didn't expect it crowd went crazy they even gave him pyro but he was already in the crowd and we didn't really see none of the pyro, which is kind of a waste of pyro. But that's neither here nor there. That was insane. That was one of the greater ways to end off a Monday Night Raw. It reminds me when Kevin Owens won the Universal Championship with the help of Triple H. It reminds me of that moment. How the crowd went fucking crazy. He won the Universal Championship. Same thing here. Jay won the Intercontinental Championship from a Braun, from Braun Breaker. That was fantastic, bro. Truly fantastic. Great way to end off Monday Night Raw. That was, I, I, I'm, I'm still kind of speechless. And that's what everyone's talking about. Jay finally finished his story. He finally got a solo championship title reign. Well, a title, show a solo title. He's always been featured in tag teams. But now he finally got his very first solo title win. Main event, Jey Uso finished his story. I know there are some people that don't like the booking decision here. They feel like Braun Breaker's title reign should be much longer. It shouldn't have been cut short. And that's a fair assessment, a fair point, you know. But I also understand that the story here that they potentially could tell is one, Obviously, Jay accomplishing something so great definitely deserves to be acknowledged there. And, you know, he's if anybody's deserving of it, it's definitely Jay Uso for sure. He's put in a lot of work over the years. But I do think the greatest story here is the bloodline interfering. The new version of the bloodline interfering in Jay's business costing him that intercontinental champion i think that's the route they're going to most likely go it makes sense this is how you get him to get involved because jay normally wasn't a most likely the, the how they've set it up he wasn't gonna get involved in this bloodline stuff he hadn't even said nothing about it as he shouldn't but they're gonna get involved that new bloodline solo solo on them may feel some type of way he's doing he's he's a champ and i'm not he may feel some type of way. Send over the Tongans to cost them the match or Jacob to cost them the match. And that could be a catalyst to get Jay to come into the fold with Roman and, and Jimmy, of course. That would be that would uh, that can be the only thing I can think of to get him to join forces with them again is because they they interfered in his business when he had nothing to do with anything. 
So I do think that may be the route that they go. And the question is, will Braun Breaker get the Intercontinental Championship back? I can see that happening. I don't think their feud is done. We're just getting started. <laughs> I don't think it's done. We may get another match out of them. And maybe the bloodline interferes. We will see. But I do think that's the greater story. We got this chapter. Jay being an Intercontinental Champion. Winning the title. I think that's an awesome moment. I don't think he's going to be a long-term champion. I do think the bloodline will get involved. Cost him uh, uh, the title. And that's how he will get inserted back into this whole bloodline uh war since we're going to be getting war games and most likely it's going to be bloodline warfare so hey for those who are not a big fan of it i get your sentiments you wanted braun breaker to have a lengthy title reign but i do think he probably will get the title back at some point relatively soon but either way this was a great moment if you didn't get a chance to just watch the match and watch the moment leading up to jay winning go ahead do yourself a favor watch it this was great this is awesome. I'm happy for Jay. He deserves it. And uh, yeah, man. Main event, Jay Uso is now your Intercontinental Champion. But comment down below. Let me know, man. How do y'all feel about Jay Uso being the new Intercontinental Champion? Do you like the booking decision here to put the title on Jay? Or do you think this was a mistake by Triple H and they should have kept it on Braun Breaker? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.